Hi, it's Ben Lightfoot Page here, and today I'll be reviewing the LEGO Scooby-Doo Haunted Lighthouse set number 75903. Here is the first minifig of the set. The first minifig of the set is Scooby-Doo. I really like the specialised mould that's used for this minifig, as it looks really accurate to how he looks in the show, and in general it's just a really good mould with a lot of detail to it. I also really like the metallic printing on this minifig, because it looks really good, and adds some extra detail to this minifig. On the side of the Scooby-Doo minifigure, there's some printing to show a scared facial expression, and some printing to show the black spots that Scooby-Doo has. Overall, this is a really great representation of Scooby-Doo in LEGO minifigure form. Here's the second minifigure of the set, and the second minifigure of the set is a seaweed-covered version of Shaggy. I really like the torso print on this minifigure, but it's really well detailed, and it looks really great. I especially like the little detail of the starfish, and also the pieces of seaweed going across his shirt. Another thing that I really like about this minifig is the hair piece, because it's got a lot of really nice texture to it, and generally the shaping of it just looks really good, and also it's really accurate to how he looks in the show. I also really like the face print on this minifig, because it's a really unique face print that really captures the personality of Shaggy. Around the back of this minifig, there's some more printing to show a bit more seaweed on his back, and there's also an alternate face where he's looking a little bit sad or confused. Here's the third minifig of the set, the third minifig of the set is Daphne. Overall, this is a very simple minifig, but I do quite like the little bit of printing for the headband in the hair, and also the creases on the scarf around the neck. Around the back of this minifig, there's a little bit more torso printing, and also an alternate face where she looks a little bit scared. Here is the fourth minifig of the set, and the fourth minifig of the set is the Lighthouse Keeper. I really like the face print on this minifig because it's really well detailed, and it's a really expressive facial expression. Another thing that I really like about this minifig is the inclusion of the glow-in-the-dark head. I also really like the beard piece that's used on this minifig because it's a really unique shape and it's got a lot of texture to it. I really like the torso print on this minifig because it's really well detailed. I really like how there's multiple layers, such as the jumper and the jacket, and also all the different creases and folds in the jacket looks really good. Around the back of this minifig, there's an alternate face to show the true identity of the lighthouse keeper, and there's also some printing on the back of the torso. Here is the fifth minifig of the set, and the fifth minifig of the set is the Swamp Monster. I really like the headpiece on this minifig because it's really well shaped, and it makes this minifig look really unique. I also really like the face print on this minifig because it looks genuinely creepy, and it matches up perfectly with the headpiece. Another thing that I really like about this minifig is the torso print. I really like the detail of the ribs, and also the other bits of printing on the torso. Here is the main build of the set, and the main build of the set is the lighthouse. This build is kind of split into three different sections, so first I'm going to be starting off with the dock section. This section of the build is relatively simple, however there are some nice details to it. I really like the simple build for a light, because whilst it's simple it does look really good, and it definitely adds to this overall scene. And I also really like the rock texture all around this build, along with the bit that's sort of closed off by two wooden planks. I also really like how open this area is, because that means there's lots of spaces to place minifigures. I also really like these steps, because those look great, and the building technique that was used to create them is really clever. The wooden planks are really easy to take off, you just pull them off from here, and then underneath there's a hidden secret of a map to show where the hidden treasure is. It's a little difficult to get out, but it's quite a nice printed piece, and I do quite like how hidden it is in there. The middle section of this build is where the lighthouse is, so the bottom of it isn't that detailed, but there's a little bit of texture for the rocks, and a little bit of detail for seaweed, and that looks really great. This side of the build is where the cave is, so there's an entrance to the cave which is shaped like a skull. I really like that build, it's kind of simple, but it does look really good. I especially like this little crack here, because that's a nice attention to detail, and also the overall design of that does look very good. There's also a keep out sign that is for the lighthouse, and then there's some steps to lead up to the top floor of the lighthouse. There's also some texture on the side, so in general this side is very detailed, and it does look very really great. The skull on the front of this build can rotate upwards, and that allows access to the cave. I really like how smoothly this feature works. Here is the interior of the build, and the interior of the build is very plain. Firstly, the top floor is just a prison, with nothing in there, just space for minifix. On the middle floor there's just a cooker with a frying pan on top. It's kind of simple, but I guess at least it's some detail. On the ground floor of the lighthouse there is a crate, and that is just hidden away in this area here. It's not very well hidden, and it's kind of hard to get out, but once you do get it out you can see there's two flippers and a scuba tank. 
and that's for the Mifig who's dressed as a swamp monster, so they can breathe and swim underwater easily. Underneath the steps of the lighthouse there is a cave, and inside that cave there's a small treasure chest, and inside the treasure chest there's a chalice and a gem. I really like the overall colour scheme for this lighthouse, because most LEGO lighthouses go with bright red and white, whereas this one goes with dark red and white, I think that looks a lot better, and a little bit more realistic. I also like the overall shape for this lighthouse, because it's got a really nice curved shape to it, and it's just a really good looking lighthouse build. I really like the design for the top of the lighthouse, as it has a really nice round shape to it, and the railing design looks good. In addition, I also really like these small details such as the smashed glass and the hanging piece of seaweed. There's also a feature with the top of the lighthouse where you can rotate this part up, and then inside there's the hidden detail of a couple of bones and the key to the treasure chest. I really like how hidden that is, and how it doesn't disrupt the design of the lighthouse, and it's just a really nice hidden feature. Overall, the exterior of this build looks really detailed, and has a lot of texture, and in general it just looks amazing. And I also really like all the hidden details and hidden secrets in this build, and also the features do work very well. I just wish that the interior looked a little bit better, and wasn't as plain as it is. Here is the one side build that's included with the set, and this build is the mystery boat. I really like the overall design for this boat, because it looks really sleek, and it just has a really good look to it. My favourite part of the design is the engine, because whilst it's very really simple, I think it looks very really good, especially in that metallic colour. This set also features a couple of extra accessories. These two skis in blue, these two oars, and this simple build for a burger. It's a very basic build, and it doesn't look particularly good, but for its size it's quite good. I do quite like the printed piece on the top. That's it for this review. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like and subscribe.